the old Gretsch has seen a lot of action. Been messing with the flick twos, and this is a basic, basic setting through Ensemble. Real simple. This maps to foot switch number two. Double click it. Foot switch number four. Delay. Basically, chorus. Delay. Got another one for tremolo. And then one to hit foot switch eight here, which goes to the next preset. So these things right now are basically set up so that I can play, can be playing a normal electric guitar with a, you know, regular amp and stuff. And if I want to jump to acoustic in one go, just hit a button and transferring these from here to a weirder guitar that would go with a good color scheme and all that. What is that? That's a Martin. These are all kind of, uh, what is it called, um, preset packed from Glendalon, where he's made IRs of very cool, different acoustics. And he's stacking IRs, which is kind of unusual, but it works for him. And he's also got a Variex version of this, which is included in this thing. So for me, who's a complete Variex freak and love modeling guitars and Everything to do with the pickup combinations and all that, you know, the wood. That is a great solution if I'm on the road. If I have just the El Stomp out with me, I can load a cut down version of all these presets in and navigate it with this. You know, that. Is really all you need. So, what do we got now? Callings. So, it's a pretty simple setup. But it is relying on having an iPad in the middle and it's using Onsung for some really basic stuff. Now, Onsung can do much more than this. I would have to say past as a, a thing. And this gives me a fully wireless. Maybe stick a G10 in there. Piece of cake. And these go all the way downstairs. So I can pick up out of here. Go downstairs. And everything works. Try swinging this thing around.
Here's one thing. I need to reprogram the end of this trail. Because the idea is, you're playing electric, you swap over to acoustic, and you kind of have a favorite path that you normally take. You know, lighter acoustics, darker acoustics. And you can rearrange those cards any way you want, which is super cool. That's the idea with this, is to be having a regular jam and say, right, acoustic time, bam. And you go off to that. You could switch all this around and put this on an acoustic and go through a modeling thing and drive an acoustic to make sort of an electric sound if you want. You know, it's whatever guitar works for you. And for me, a semi hollow bodied guitar is about the best you're going to get, I think. You know, if you're for an, an on your own guitar, it's not very transportable, but you've got a sound chamber, you've got plenty of expression, you've got usually a Bigsby or some sort of tremolo, which only that can sound like that. Put in whatever pickups you want, it doesn't make a difference because you can model your way out of it. But that for me is about all the stuff that I currently use in my Variax. So, pretty cool. Some pluses, some minuses. The big thing is that you can't do all the other tricks that you can do tied to a Variax and Helix. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff, but even run wireless, but it's not the same as VDI. And this is closer to a VDI experience, I thought. So. Here you go. Flip twos in action. I think I finally got this lighting sorted out, so maybe this video will be a go. If you have any questions on these things, I've already had um, Hans get this and work out his thing. If anyone else out there has flicks and stuff like this and you want Hans setting this stuff up, give me a buzz, check out the 96 Mini Mad Scientist Club group. As we go through all sorts of MIDI stuff and I don't know if there is a flick group or not. There's an ensemble community. And this is pretty simple to set up, honestly. Um, you've got to learn a couple of simple tricks in the Helix. Or whatever you're using, it's transposable, I would think, to any other system. But you're just calling presets here and there and turning stuff on and off. cool is that? Have a great weekend.